I've still got my mask round here. It's like, what's going on? We're nearly out of lockdown. Yesterday was national, I can go and hug someone day. Haven't hugged anyone yet, but everyone who turns up on site today is possibly gonna get a hug. Welcome back to the big build and we are gonna lay some bricks. So we're out the ground. We've done what we needed to do to enable us to start putting our foundation blocks in our trench blocks, but we are in the wettest May since something like 1965, I heard yesterday. And we had a biblical storm yesterday afternoon. It was literally the sky came over black. And as far as you could see, there was lightning flashes and there was thunder and there was just some immense rain. And so what you're gonna find is when you turn up in the morning that your trenches may be a little bit wet. So have a little look at this. We've got ourselves a moat now. This is what we've got instead of a footing. And this is just fairly typical. We've got, you know, very wet clay soil now. And all of the groundwater here has just been soaking to the lowest point. And it's just basically like a pond now. So we're gonna pump this out. We've got the pump going. I think I'll go and switch that on. I'll plug that in, switch that on. And we'll get rid of this water. We're pumping it through the drainage which is where all of the rainwater goes it's going through under the ground and it's going off to a ditch so at least i know it's going to be away it's not going to a soak away soakaways don't really work well in clay um, we'd have to talk about that at another point but anyway so we're very lucky that we've got all these existing drains that we can use and so we're going to drain all this off it's going to take a few minutes and then sweep off that concrete and make it just lovely ready for our brickie morning all right. How are you? Good. We're allowed to do. We're allowed to do this. Uh, Come here. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? It is, mate. Yeah. How's it going? Good. Good. Been a bit of a wet one, hasn't it? Yeah. Been awful, hasn't it? Yeah. Yesterday was horrendous. We were bumping out. No job. Were well, yeah. you? Oh yeah. In the afternoon, it really rained, didn't it? Really rained, and then lovely sunshine for ten minutes, and then really rained again. Yeah. I know. I know. It's supposed to be three months, someone said the other day. Three months three of months rain. Like this, on and off. Beautiful today. I know. Oh, and then, and then raining, yeah. I mean, it's just one of the hazards of the job when you're in construction. Just, uh, what can you do? That's what, I mean, that's partly why we'll have a temporary roof over the top of this build, you know? Just, I mean, it is expensive, but when you consider how much time's lost, or if someone's left the house renting somewhere, you know, it's gonna cost them more in rent and all the rest of it. So, um, yeah, we have to do what we have to do, mate, don't we? big old percentage on a project yeah. time-wise. Mm. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? Mm. So Chris, we're gonna be doing some footings today. Do so want... we've got it all um, loaded out and stuff yeah. and and pretty much we know where we're going, setting it out and everything. So it'll be a piece of cake for you. That's what we like. And um, yeah, we're just pumping the water out the footings at the moment. It was to the top, so. <laughs> and then we'll get on, but we'll get you a cup of coffee first. That's definitely the way to go. Any new barrows? Are they ox barrows? No, they oh, are blue ox, blue barrows. Let's, see, let's go and have a look at our ditch. See if we've got much water left in there. Still draining. Yeah. Oh, it's getting there now. The ground wasn't great, was it? No, it was just <laughs> it was rubbish. In fact, so what we'll do is um, we'll give this a little sweep out, get it cleared. I'll just turn it off for a minute. And we'll, we'll, get you we'll get you set up, we'll mark it all out. I've got a profile here and a bracket on the wall, which is the line of this wall, that sets everything out. So we'll put a line on the outside of there, pull it all the way through to this cut in the profile over here. And that gives us, it's basically, it's basically there. Yeah. That'll be, we'll drop that through in the trench box. On this side, we've got one extra course. Okay. So we've got some engineering, but we'll go straight off the, off the foundation with the trench block. Yep and then we'll put a course of engineering through to get us, get us away. And then this side, it's, it's um, trench block straight off of here. Now this is an old footing, yep. and it's up to what should be DPC or thereabouts. I think DPC um, is on that, where I've, where I've had the render off over there. But what we'll be doing, Chris, is we'll probably get the gun out once we've got these trench blocks started, and we'll just cut all this stuff off back to where it should be, so we can bring our new rendered wall up to the point here, then we're going in face work for this building here. So um, I think that's basically it. So we'll get you a cup of coffee yep. and then we'll, between us, 
Oh, it's going to be great, isn't it? Coming out of the ground. Don't you think? Just done on other projects, people start to see things. I know. It's, it's great to get those trench blocks in because you can start back filling against them, getting the oversight tidied up. See the size of it. Yeah, start yeah. Taking shape. Don't yeah, it? it is good. Yeah. All of these pipes are on the inside of the wall. Obviously, we've got little lintels where we need, if we need them to bridge across mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. That one is a stack for the outside. That's on the outside of the wall in the right position over at the far side. So I think we're, um, we're looking pretty good. Okay. Better get the broom out. <laughs> in setting out a building, you have to take into consideration everything that may affect it going forwards. Now, in my case here, this piece of the building is the best piece for setting out from. It's parallel, it's true, and it was built fairly recently, whereas the old part of the building was moving all through its life and there's not a straight wall and there's not a plumb wall. So what we've done is because we've got a big roof coming through here and then turning all the way through the new extension, we want to make sure that is at 90 degrees and we'll set all of our new buildings. Effectively, the whole of this new elevation is going to be new. So our start point was this score line. That's the outside face of our brickwork or block work. We've then pulled a line all the way through and we've squared that from that building here. We've then, as I mentioned before, we've got a footing here, which is an existing footing, and that's nice and parallel to the building that we're squaring off. So we've now taken a line parallel to that footing and we've projected it through. So if you stand along here and look down the line of that, you'll see just how drunk the end of this flank is. It is completely out. It's around about 80 millimeters out. So basically it's the far corner is leaning further forward this way. So we want to take all of our work from this line. So therefore, when we come round through here, through here, through here and back, everything's at 90 degrees. We've got a kitchen going in here. I certainly don't want to have walls which are out. You try putting corner wall units in or corner base units in, you've got to start scribing and all sorts. And it's just much nicer for the roof structure as well if we are all nice and square. All right, mate, and Chris is gonna be pulling through our footing. He's all ready to rock. I'm not gonna get in his way or hold him up because um, time is money and all the rest of it. And so, but between us, I like as a carpenter, I always say we're the first in, last out. This is another good example of that. I like to set out. I think we should take the responsibility if it's your own job to actually do the setting out. Then no one, you're the only one to blame if it's wrong, basically. So that's it, Chris is gonna crack on. We're gonna work to these lines. You see, I've got one through here, which is 90 degrees to the main flank, also to this here. This one is parallel. So this corner, if I get my square, I'll crudely hold it over where these two lines, this might be hard to see, but I'll just crudely hold it. So I know straight away by offering my square in here and it's all absolutely bob on to these two lines that we can actually measure off these plumb down. This is the line of the face brickwork. This wall in this trench is one meter away. I've put a score mark in this brickwork here. I've also got a score mark in this piece of old shutter in here and we can just measure along, base that out. The wall on the far side is a simple paralleling job and this wall through here, I'm gonna mark now plumb from our line and that gets the building out of the ground and I can't wait. Okay, let's quickly measure this across. I've dropped a brick, a big brick, a block in and I'm gonna measure across plumb down from our parallel line. So you hold that with a block, you can hold it all nice and true then. I wanna be there, 2731. Fine, I'm gonna score the footing where we want it. And then a little trick I like to do is pop a coin in the slot so we can find it again in a minute if any more water comes in. So let's find a 10p piece, they're just perfect for this. There we go, 10p, 10p piece. We'll score this footing here. We'll whiz out our block, pop it up here. That's it. 
that's the outside of our block that's perfect challenges of building so this here in my hand is the belt from my mixer it's just snapped one of those things but um, it's a bell mixer most people have bell mixers in the domestic market indeed even out on site so um, this is a spare part that you know you can get online or you can phone them they had none in stock but what they did do is direct me to a Travis Perkins now they don't sell these retail but they've kindly agreed to sell me one of theirs that they keep for their repairs so this is a public thank you to travis perkins for getting us out of trouble This is what you call pick and dip. Pick and dip. Cool. Do you like doing that? It's all right. It's where it doesn't get seen. It's great. But yeah, so you, wouldn't wouldn't do, you wouldn't do it on like some really nice uh, Facebook. No, no, you wouldn't want to do it on some really nice stuff. But I mean, I'm not the master. Do you enjoy bricklaying though, mate? It's good. It's really good. It's, um, I love the diversity of it as a trade. Yeah. It's just, you can do so many different things with it and different ways. and. It's such a lovely job. Everyone loves a bit of brickwork. Sit. Yeah, you're right there, mate. You'll never catch me with a trowel. In fact, I, I do. I have done a little bit of brickwork, but it's um, yeah. I just think that it's horses for courses, you know. Yeah. So if I put that course through there, it would be millimetre perfect, but it would have taken an hour. Yeah. I think that's the thing. There's certain things where you do spend time. Yeah, if you're making a chair, you're looking at half a millimetre tolerance. If you do a foot and you're 10 mil out, you can get over it because it's not finished, so. Yeah. So, but ours are going to be perfect, mate, aren't they? Hopefully. It's good idea. Well, if they're not, you'll blame me because I set it out. <laughs> no hilty pins on this one, will it? No, this is done the old-fashioned way, mate, isn't it? So do you think that um, you like working with or without gloves? I personally don't like gloves. What about when you're on site? Do they uh, insist on it? A lot of sites do, and you can get away with doing it. You just have to find some thin ones. Yeah, but they sometimes tear up, don't they? You know, the they thin don't ones. Last. They don't last. Though. I'll tell you what, the ones I've got from Milwaukee... Okay. They are. They've got these different cut levels, and they're really thin. I mean, they're not cheap, but they are so good. Mm. That's what you need, because you do need to be able to feel. Yeah, it's the same as my my game. You know, if I was trying to do a dovetail joint with gloves on, marking it up with a sharp pencil, it's not going to happen. You know, it's really, really difficult. You just need that that lovely, you know, feeling of accuracy. That's why we've got nerves on our skin. Excellent. That's it. Nearly there, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's is, us for now. Is that to damp level? That's us for damp. Uh, cool. We've got some wood going on the outside. Marvellous. Really good. We're officially out of the ground. The foundations are in. The oversight is scraped back. We've got the brickwork and the block work and the drains all in the right places now. And we're getting up to DPC and that's where we'll stop. We normally would go straight up to plate height, but as I've mentioned before, I want to take the corner of the building out. I want to get my DPM, so that's the membrane, over the top of the hardcore, which has been blinded by sand. I want to get that all the way up and over the, the old external wall so we'll cut that right back down to the hardcore level so our new concrete subfloor can make contact with whatever subfloor 
is inside as well. So Chris has been working really hard and I'll have a quick chat with him before he gets his last few bricks on up to DPC. And we've been really lucky here that we managed to find a brick that was in stock, which was suitable. Sand and cement, we've been able to get some sand and cement because we've got national shortages at the moment and it has been particularly tricky. So I'm just gonna sneak around here. All right, mate. How are we doing? Yeah, you're nearly there. Nearly there, last few bricks. You're there. nearly there. Do you know it's National Hugger Bricky Week? National Hugger Bricky Week? Is it National Hug Everyone Week? Yeah, I know, but I've decided that I just want to hug brickies. Just because we're doing such a good job. Oh, mate, it's just, well, it's horrible when you're in the ground, isn't it? You know, you've got, if you'd have seen the water, we we're in the wettest May on record, and every day we're pumping out, we've even put a sump in now, so if it does rain, we're out of trouble. So, once you're out of the way, I'm gonna get in there. We're gonna get all of that hard cord, all of that oversight in there, and blinded. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, we won't blind it just yet. We'll probably type one it and get it all nice and flat and smooth so we can work off of it, because we won't be doing any more work until that wall's out of the way. So where, where are you off to now? Another job locally tomorrow? Tomorrow, I'm Far? off to the Isle of Wight. Hopefully. Oh, you're off to the Isle yeah. of Wight. Yeah. Have you ever been abroad before? Well, not quite that far. No? No, it'd be nice. It'd be lovely. Nice get away. And the weather's going to pick up a bit. It'd be great, wouldn't it? I know. It'd be, it'd be lovely. So, what of brick laying, what's the worst thing about brick laying? Worst thing about brick laying is probably footings like this. You have to be part man, plot. Flamingo, one leg. Yeah. Uh, when it rains, never good. But it's, we got ourselves into it, haven't we? Exactly. And why did you want to be a brickie? I was at school, didn't really know what I was going to do. Um, went over with my uncle, knocked up some muck, said I'd go at it, ended up going to college, went from there. Just, yeah, just went. Because you're only in your early 20s. 23, yeah. Yeah, and you, I know you've got some um, helpers who are a little bit older than you. You, we all need them, mate. We all need some older people. I've struggled finding anyone older than me anymore. But <laughs> apart from your mate, of course. But um, yeah, no, thanks, mate. Thanks for dropping in and doing this for me as well. And as I say, it'll be at least six or eight weeks because we're going to be having the roof off the house, do the alterations, and then we'll do all of the brickwork up to plate height. So I'll be in touch with you as soon as we, um, as we need it. And uh, in the meantime, we're going to get on.